Greetings my friends, this is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I'd come and say hello with your perspective. What I'm offering here is just perspective. For we have really had a shifting time, but it is about the inner choice, it's very important. We, we, what is going on right now on the planetary scale is the exam, it's an exam. All humanity has been tested by the Creator. Is and is the exam of exam is the last exam after the after that there will be no more choices everybody will have to be defined in which class they're going to be put into everybody's it's all about love and truth so <clears throat> So it is a test. Uh, we have to understand this, like when we, we're passing, we're on the fourth dimension the class and we, we, we're filling up our test. The test is about love. How, how can we deal with it? The test will repeat themselves again and again and again and again and again until we master it, until there is enough people ready to move into this fifth dimensional first wave of ascension. And then, then the, the dust will have erased the whole dark programs and then we'll get ready to, to prepare the second wave. So the, the test is like if you prepare your test and then you have a student next to you <coughs> who's like, to, 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 well, how do I deal with that? So you can offer ex, uh, an, an advice on, on each, each, anybody that's asking you anything. You can, but you, if you take the test and fill it up for other people, they will pass the test, but they will not have integrated the lesson that they need. They're going to end up in the fifth dimension, in a unified field. But if they have discordant emotion and they create all kind of ego things up there in the fifth dimension, it's going to create a lot of hell for all people because we all went there so do your test you know do do your fulfill your own program but do not seek to fulfill the program of others assist them you know? so it's all about returning we have God inside the power of God the whole creator the the, the almighty creator of all is, is within us so <clears throat> so we, we are very much more powerful than we think and it's all about love for we a spirit knows that we but first, I wanted to thank you very much for, for, for listening to those videos, for liking, sharing, for commenting, for subscribing, if it's, uh, and also for your donations. If you're on a private session, uh, you can send me an email. I thought I, uh, I mentioned that to, to not to forget, because it, it, it is important to, to continue to, to cultivate this unity consciousness. Although the screens, um, will you continue to utilize the screens, but eventually we're going to move into this higher frequency where telepathy and physical planes are going to be all kinds of platforms. So what I want to say is that spirit does not intend and knows that we're not, we cannot be 100% unconditional love. Some people believe they are, but we're not. In truth, there are still things to be done. And so, but to, just to have the intention, to have the determination to always be loved, to always be, to work for the highest good of all, including ourselves, to love ourselves more, to love life more. So that, that alone will bring us to the, to the, to the fifth dimension. And there'll still be things to work out to integrate our immortality in the sixth dimension and so on. But as, as we, as, as we move, there is this first wave of ascension. There's like um, thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, no, probably not millions, but beings that, that are elevated into this frequency that will erase completely the program. But the challenge is not to, understand when you first awaken you see all the darkness that is coming and you want to fight you want to oppose it you want to you want to denounce it and all that but that is actually fueling the system it's actually giving power to those people so so send love and light to all the dark ones, all of the dark scenarios, all of the darkness. For, for in the first dimension, it is all inclusive. We are all one. The dark, the light, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything is part of the one. And we assume the responsibility of that creation. From assuming the responsibility, we can shift it, we can change it, we can utilize the violet fire, the blue fire of truth and, and, and integrity. So rather than, this, than criticizing analyzing, looking into the, those dark programs, I mean, the Davos, the Soros, the Sunberg, the Atalis, the, all of the, the dark, uh, the, 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 all the dark agents, the, those, like, the, the, those people, are, what they seek is to create a hell for, for everybody, <laughs> thinking that they, they're going to they're gonna be saved if they create a hell, they destroy all the sheep. But the sheep are actually lions that just need to awaken. So, so they're creating a, 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 a hell timeline for themselves, but they do not know that in truth. Huh? The, the, the creator has, the, the, the creator fools the fools and, and guides the wise, huh? as it is said in the Quran. So, so they, they have they have these veils into their consciousness. So, but all those who are following this narrative or opposing it even are following their timelines. They they they're fueling the energy of that timeline. So so just um, um, there is, it's a war of the psyche. So just focus in light and love is very important. Uh, for um, for if we if the day we have no more hatred, no more anger towards all those dark beings, we are able to 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 apply this this energy of love and compassion 
that will not give them power, that will not empower them for more tyranny or so on, but in the contrary, that will, slow, that will remove their power, that will slow down their process, and that will also the, assist their soul, and that will demonstrate compassion to your creator that you have compassion you have you have a, it's an act of lucidity for, for god recognizes lucidity god is no god knows all things from beginning to end he knows all things and and it's so much beyond all this program we're just little children to him so just accept that and there is this loving parent this loving energy that is always so so that will also shorten the process the more you turn into light and love beyond the dark the good and evil the bad and the light the the, the faster the program of, of, of this program of duality will be stopped and erased so 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 it is very important because that will shift the the, the power table huh? it's like as long as we fight against the, the dark the dark is empowered as so that we stop fighting and we we utilize love and light, that is how they work up there. The light slowly but surely just uh, consume the darkness. When when you go into the dark room with a light, if the light is strong enough, it will inundate the darkness. It is the nature of light, and the light have always been planned to win. It's just uh, the dark souls were were actually. Um, deceived in some level to, to believe to, to, just to play this game for the at the end every, everybody returns to the source to love to, to god so it's just a, it's just a, in the temporary reality what we create we'll have to harvest so so just uh, just remove yourself from all the the try to to be as independent as possible for you have the power of god within you use it and this power is called love uh, for love is the only true and lasting power, this, uh, this divine love. But um, do not love the, the deeds and words of the dark, but you can love them as a soul. For the, the, it is said that God loves all, loves the, all the sinners, but he, he doesn't love the sin because it, a sin is what obstructs our evolution. So, so anything that prevents us from growing and evolving towards that, uh, that returns, God knows those things, and that is what we consider sin. But, but. But all this, this uh, the, there is a lot of people that believe they have higher moral judgment when actually they are not. It's like so. Just be be receptive to what life is reflecting, what uh, what spirit is guiding you, what comes from the heart. And for all suffering comes from a lack of lucidity. It's, the, it's like a veil that is placed upon the consciousness that prevents us from accepting, from experiencing the totality of the universal love of God. And so God has deprived them us also of that lucidity and in order to regain that lucidity we need to pray to meditate we need to exercise love and compassion we need to have courage to face our fear to face our shadows to 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 have the the desire to perfect our character huh? for all suffering come from those attachments from from those limitations but so clearly but surely we are, we are being liberated and so um so, so it is about the really powerful time for exams, and and the exams are soul has planned a certain number of, of lessons, and even though sometimes we feel like we failed the test, but the test will reappear because God loves us and He wants us to pass this test. As soon as we we have completed the program, we are being elevated, we are being empowered, and, and we will see that all, all of this was was really nothing, and just a snap of a finger, it can all crumble down. It's just a matter of, of love and lucidity, really, and enough for it has to be a, a critical called mass and then this is still in the works well i hope this message was interesting for you i just thought i come and uh, and say hello i'm gonna go really do maybe a little bit of painting today and so i'm gonna finish with a song there was this very strangely um, yesterday as i came back from a walk with my friends i went to visit um, a little bit and when i came back i had the, the god save the queen that went through my mind it's very strange because i don't have any reason to sing the God Save the Queen, so our English friend would have to stand up. <laughs> but but it, it maybe I, I love England, I have many English friends, the beautiful place, I'm looking forward to go to London. And so maybe it's a sign that there was a connection over there that was just uh, activating on the inner planes. But so I'm going to sing another song that was more aligned with, uh, with, with the message I'm doing today. It's uh, it's a song that about uh, survival, uh, about the, the will to survive, it's called The Eye of the Tiger. Raising up back on the street, did my time, took my chances. When the distance, now I'm back on my feet, just a man and his will to survive. So many times it happened too fast, you change your passion for glory. 
Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our rival. And the last known survivor stalk his prey in the night and is watching us all in the eye of the tiger. Face to face, out in the heat, hanging tough, staying hungry. They stack the odd till we take to the streets for the kill with the skill to survive. It's the eye of the tiger, is the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our rival. And the last known survivor stalk his prey in the night and is watching us all in the eye of the tiger. Rising up, straight to the top, had the guts, got the glory. When the distance, now I'm not gonna stop, just a man and his will to survive. It's the eye of the tiger, is the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our rival. And the last known survivor stalk his prey in the night, and he's watching us all in the eye of the tiger. The eye of the tiger, the eye of the tiger. But from a symbolic perspective, the tiger is the tiger of fear. So we have conquered this tiger of fear. We have discharged this power of the tiger of fear. And there is a great book that's very useful. That's called the, the, the Art of War. It, it's very, it's very, it's quite interesting. It's an old book from the sixth century BC by an author named Sun Tzu. It's a bit brutal at the beginning, but there's all kinds of wise in terms of uh, of playing this game of duality. And yet, yet we, we want to be understanding of that, so so we can be detached from it and continue to cultivate this love, this oneness. This, but we're here to show to, 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 to go beyond that and and, and everything we do down here will actually assisting him we, we're just a uh, mortal career will actually greatly um, enhance our eternal career our, our soul is, is is expanding very much so from from this expense on the earth this incarnation right now so never diminish the value of all and continue to love yourself and love the world around you uh, thank you very much wish you a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later Salut.